Uh, we're here at James Cohen Gallery, and we're here with artists, um, Ingrid. Um, Kalam. Kalam. See, I, I always want to make <laughs> sure that I don't butcher the last name. With Ingrid Kalam. And this is her uh, solo show and her opening reception. And we're here to talk about a bit of this massive, great work that she has in this particular room. So, Ingrid, uh, explain uh, again the process of doing this uh, piece uh, in this room and how long it took. Well, so I would have tra I traced in. Uh, on the speedway for five days and then traced, uh, brought it back to the studio and retraced it on butcher paper. And then that butcher paper I use with an ele electro pounce machine, which is a sign painter's tool to draw it uh, with an electric pen to burn holes and then uh, bring those drawings here and put them on the wall and then put the pigment on the wall. Oh. But the, so it's, um, it's all hand done, it's one-to-one -one scale from the tracings at the Speedway. And it would have taken months, it took us months to do the, <clears throat> the tracing, a week to do the original tracings with nine people, then months to do the tracing and then and pounce, and then a week to do the, in the actual Wednesday to Wednesday, wow. every day, <clears throat> to do the install. Oh, awesome. So, um, um, well, do you think this like uh, sort of like an old world technique, like frescoing, that you're just kind of making your own interpretation, or? Yeah, I'm definitely using the technique of, uh, you know, uh, it's it's not a, it's, it's a, the cartoon. I'm using the cartoon that people used to make a fresco, or uh, I mean, to put the transfer the drawing to the wall for like Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel or whatever, <clears throat> or if you had words that you were gonna do for a sign, you would use the same. Um, pounce transfer drawing um, and then uh, but I'm misusing it because it's making the I'm using it to make the pigment darker okay. and to stay rather than go away which is the idea of the like a carbon copy you oh. want you know the original you want to sort of disappear so that the carbon wouldn't come through for the painting but for me I want the drawing to exist oh. um, so um, um, in a way, you figure out a faster way to do something that is hand done. Um, do you think it's uh, a new thing now with uh, with the way artists work? It's like the concentration now on the hand craftsmanship or the artisanal quality of making the art. Like it's hand done, not I technology. I can't speak in general for for artists in general, so I don't know. But for me. It's important that it's hand done. It, it's centered around my body and about <clears throat> uh, that this information that I originally traced could only really be traced rather than it couldn't be photographed. It'd be you'd see it in perspective and you'd the you know the, the marks that I'm tracing are gray on gray. So it's a very subjective uh, closed shape that I'm making out of something that's not a closed shape, you know. And uh, so everything is, is about a perception and uh, translation through my body or and the bodies of the people who I choose to help me. Awesome. So uh, thank you very much for giving us a few minutes to discuss a little bit about your current work. And we encourage everyone to please come to James Cohen Gallery and experience art um, by coming personally <laughs> and not just view it through a JPEG and be immersed in the actual environment the way it's set up, right? <laughs> Okay, so thank you again, Ingrid. Thank you. Breath of Artifuse.